Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with motion presets inside of Create Studio. So motion presets are basically preset animations, which enable you to quickly create animations. So I've got my text here. And if you select any layer, you can see this motion tab. So click on this. And this is where you've got these preset animations. And if you click on the animation, you can see what it looks like. And if you want to apply it to your layer, you can simply select the checkbox and that will add the animation to your layer like that. I'm going to go ahead and choose a scale one. I'm going to go with elastic up. And you have to see that we've got this nice bouncing animation. On the timeline over here, you can also adjust the duration of the animation. So if I just zoom in a bit closer, you have to see that this animation lasts for about one second and I can drag this out let's say to make it two seconds. And this is going to have a lot slower animation. Okay. So what we can also do is if you click on the animation, you'll be able to see you've got these preset settings. And with text, you've also got some other options to animate your text by a paragraph, by word, or by letter. So if we go by word, you'll be able to see that it animates on like so. And if we select it again and go to letter, you'll see that it animates one by one like so. And you can really create some fun animations by simply adjusting these properties. You can also adjust the offset and also go into advanced settings where you can adjust things like the starting rotation, this position and things like that. So this is more of an advanced option to really help you to create more advanced animations. So let's say we want these letters instead of just coming straight in like this, we want to make them come on with a little bit of a rotation. So what we can do is in the, with the advanced settings open, go to rotation and just drag this over slightly. And you're about to see now that it also rotates on like that. And let's just preview that. So it's looking really good. We can also go back in over here and you can adjust the easing of these properties as well. So if you want to have a slightly different easing for this animation, you can go ahead and select this and let's say you want to try something like bounce. So if we go back over here, you've got your rotation and we've chosen bounce. And I'm just going to select out for this one. And let's just preview what that looks like. So you can really adjust your animations and create really unique looking animations. And the great thing about this is that you can also save your preset animation. So once you've made some adjustments to these presets, you can type in a preset name. Let's call this one rotate bounce. Give it whatever name you like and click on save as preset. Now when you go over to your saved options down here, you'll be able to see we've got this new preset that we've created. And in the future when we create other elements, we can add this same animation onto that element. So that's a bit about working with presets. You can also select the out animation. So let's say you just want it to fade out. You can simply select that and you've got your, your layer animating on there just fading out. And you can also create looping animations. So these are just continual animations which go up and down, for example, or scale in and out. And you can apply these in between your layer. So the animation, so let's say you want to select this one for in and out. You can bring this up like this. And just preview that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The best way to learn is to get started creating yourself. So go ahead and try this out and have fun creating.